Alright, this video I'm going to speak about accepting challenges. Um, this is a reflection that I have based on some videos that I've made where I'm offering people to come by and, um, you know, for a free lesson in which to spar with me, you know, if they'd like to, um, to kind of test out the techniques that they've been training in while I keep testing out what I do and practicing what I do and trying to better what I do. Um, I want to represent the real martial arts and what I do. And I think that the realest that it gets is just basically getting hands-on and doing it yourself, opposed to just sitting around and talking about it or watching other people do it, but just going there and do it yourself, you know. And I want to do it in a in an artistic way. I want to do it in a safe way, um, a respectful way. Um, but what I was thinking about was, as far as accepting challenges is concerned, you know, from a spiritual standpoint, I think that um, it's not it's not an ego thing. It's more of you know, it's this is a game. You know, um, sparring, unarmed combat training, um, testing your abilities in the sparring match is like a game. It's not it's not like life or death. This is this is a game to be played. Um, I think of it a game like billiards. I think of it a game like one-on-one -on -one basketball. I think of it a game like, like chess. You know, so if you're a chess master, um, how can you even be a master if you don't if you don't have anybody to to play? You know, the only way that you could get good at chess is if you have someone to play chess with. And if somebody challenges you, it, it's not that you know you're not less of a person from accepting a challenge this is basically you're testing out your 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 techniques you know your you're honing your skills you know so if you're really good at chess then then why not play with somebody else who who is going to try to beat you if you're really good at billiards then why not you know you know play against somebody who who wants to try to beat you in in the game or a game of bowling see if somebody can out bowl you um, see, you know, running, see if somebody can outrun you, you know, uh, a game of um, see who can do most push-ups, why not participate, you know, see who could uh, bench press the most weights, why not participate, um, it's something where it doesn't have to be an ego thing, you know, it's, it's more of enjoying your craft and what you do, um, you know, as long as it's done in the right way, Sparring is, is a very fun thing, and really, it's not that fun to spar if you have, you know, first, no one to spar with. Second, sparring against someone that just doesn't know what they're doing. Um, third, sparring with somebody who's just not physically capable of sparring. It's not that fun, but it is fun to spar against people who, where their bodies are capable of sustaining damage, where they can take a hit and not take it personally where they could spar and not spar out of anger but with self-control um, I enjoy sparring and I enjoy sparring against people that are, that are skilled and talented and, and um, I do enjoy that challenge you know and there's there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing unspiritual about that it's just you know we train in combat training you know we train in all these techniques for all these years and and you know, martial artists, you know, what's the point of training all these techniques if you, if there's no practicality behind it, if there's no sense of um, experimentation behind the techniques in which you could, you know, see for yourself what works and what doesn't. You know, one of the driving forces towards motivating yourself to train in certain techniques is knowing that certain techniques are efficient and effective in the, in this unarmed combative sparring training you know it's just something like somebody that loves billiards they just love to play pool somebody that loves to bowl he just loves to bowl somebody that you know loves to paint he loves to paint he just wants to paint somebody that loves to dance they want to dance and and really sparring is like an aggressive way to dance with somebody and if you are really good at it, then, you know, the injuries are very minimal, you know. So far, my, my most serious injuries are things that have occurred during my weight training, not during the sparring, because in the sparring, I'm more alert, I'm more aware, and I'm more conscious. And I've gotten hurt 
much more from self-inflicted pain you know maybe trying to break too many boards at once maybe um, allowing somebody to hit me in the stomach you know as hard as they can or allowing somebody to kick me on the leg repetitively you know those are situations where I've gotten hurt is when I put my body through um, too much um, you know um, too much force intentionally um, but with sparring I'm very attentive and aware and conscious and I, I do everything that I can not to get hit and um, it's something that I just want to keep getting better at you know so my mentality now is, is you know when people challenge it's it's not um, it's not necessarily a bad thing it's just you know somebody you, you know you're shooting hoops and somebody's hey you want to play one-on-one -on -one? or you're shooting pool by yourself and somebody's like hey you want to play pool to, you want to play a game against each other um, you know you're playing chess there's a chess board somebody says hey you want to play chess I mean it doesn't have to be taken in such a oh you know threatening way that this person's trying to to hurt you and kill you and embarrass you it's just hey you know we train in martial art techniques and for a reason and there is this motivation and this drive within to improve and sparring is, is what's going to help you to improve um, the thing is I like to spar in a very realistic way you know um, pretty much almost like a real fight you know because I like to keep it very pure and authentic in what I do you know so, so my sort of sparring doesn't involve you know um, wearing any protective equipment or you know like having a bunch of different rules like I like to keep it very natural you know like spar you know spar intelligently spar safely uh, spar effectively and spar in a way where you know have the least amount of limitations as possible so then when you are training your techniques you're training in techniques that are actually for um, survival opposed to you know you know, for some, some combat sport, you know, I like to focus on the purity of um, street combat, you know, and, um, you know, that's my, my new viewpoint on accepting challenges, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not a necessarily bad thing, and, and um, it can really serve to enhance what you do, you know, um, also it just kind of proves to the, you know, it kind of gives a person a first-hand experience, you know, you know, you know who, who they should respect in combat. You know, like a lot of times people question people's abilities of who they see. You know, no matter if it's in Hollywood or, or, or some some type of athlete that's that's doing what they're doing on screen. Um, but when you see it firsthand in, in live, and you're exper you're able to experience it yourself, um, that's a whole different story. You know, you can talk all the trash that you want and say that this person is not capable, but if, if you know, you yourself um, and put face to face with this individual and, and he completely dominates you, uh, you have no choice but to humble yourself and to realize that this person um, is very capable in what he does and that you are somebody that, that has a lot to learn. You know, because he clearly demonstrated his proficiency right before your eyes. There's no, there's no, um, you know, there's no way around it. You know, and um, it's a humbling experience. You know, when you, when you're sparring with somebody and, and, and he hits you really good and and he hurts you and and you have a very hard time striking this person and and you get winded and you get tired and. and and then you have to quit. It's a humbling experience. And I think um, a lot of the people that practice the martial arts, they need to, to experience this more and more. So then um, they learn to um, truly become students and, and not be so closed off to uh, certain individuals when it comes to learning. Um, you know, so, you know, that's my, my new view on it. And, you know, I'm gonna go with it. You know, I'm not getting younger, I'm getting older, and I want to, you know, as my body is capable, I want to test my body's abilities and, um, you know, see how far I can take it, you know, in an intelligent way. You know, the, you know when I film these uh, events or, you know, film these sparring sessions, to me it's a work of art. 
you know, just just a, a, a training log of all the things that I've experienced, all the things that I've done within the development of my art, you know, and uh, nobody can really say that I don't go in there and I do it, uh, that I don't do it, you know, I, 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 I go ahead and I do it and I don't just talk about combat, you know, I get involved in, in it and I get hands on and I like to test things out and, you know, see what works and what doesn't work and, and really be uh, good at what I do, you know, I think that I truly feel that if you're going to teach people how to defend themselves, you really should clearly know how to defend yourself. You know, you should be proficient in what you do. You know, and sparring is the way to really um, get hands on and, and um, share your art, share a part of your art to this world.